What's up guys, we're going to do another Xbox One Scorpio video. In this video we're going to be talking about some leaked white papers for the Xbox One Scorpio and talking about some of the hardware specs behind it and some of the techniques that Microsoft may be using to reach 4K on the Xbox One Scorpio. So the first thing that has been leaked and that we've kind of learned about the Xbox One Scorpio is that it will not feature ES RAM. ES RAM is an ultra fast array of RAM that was integrated into the Xbox One processor. So this made up for the lower speed DDR3 system RAM which the Xbox One had. So ES RAM is like super clocked RAM but the downside is that there's not a lot of it. There's only a little tiny bit of it but it is extremely fast. So Microsoft says that the ES RAM is going to be gone for the Scorpio, but they have also said that they encourage developers to continue using ES RAM because it is essential for the Xbox One and Xbox One S to run games at the highest quality possible. This white paper has also said that there's going to be four times more L2 cache in the Scorpio from the base Xbox One, which in the base Xbox One there was two megabytes, so there should be eight megabytes of L2 cache in the Xbox One Scorpio, so overall this should make the system more responsive and faster and just overall better. But from this white paper from July 2016, it also talks about how developers may not wish to spend all of the GPU resources and all of the system resources on resolution. They detail a technique of frame rate upscaling, which is something very interesting that I have personally never heard of. We've seen resolution upscaling where a game is say rendered at 900p but upscaled to 1080p but in this instance the graphics will run at 60 frames per second but the CPU will run at 30 and it will interpolate the animations. Microsoft has also said that there is a first party game that is scaled very nicely to 4k on the Xbox One Scorpio but this is only one title and it remains to be seen how other titles, particularly third party titles, will scale to 4K. Seeing as a lot of them are rendered at 900p, so that would mean it would have to be a 5.76 increase in pixel count. Microsoft also talks about half resolution for certain effects, such as lighting and shadows, that would potentially improve performance when ran at a half resolution as opposed to a full 4K resolution. Typically this would not look good at 1080p, but at 4K it should look almost indistinguishable. Microsoft has also cited the same presentation that Sony used of a Rainbow Six Siege demo of checkerboard rendering, or as Microsoft calls it, sparse rendering, which is used on the PlayStation 4 Pro. Overall it reconfirms Microsoft's 6 teraflop goal for the Xbox One Scorpio. But this whole white paper is extremely interesting. It is from July 2016, so things may have changed from it. But overall, it seems that the Xbox One Scorpio may not be the true native 4K console that Microsoft has previously advertised it as, but it may actually be a incremental upgrade, just like the PlayStation 4 Pro was. Now, there's no doubt that the Xbox One Scorpio will be more powerful with its six teraflops, but judging from all the information we have seen in this white paper, we may not actually be able to receive a native 4K presentation on every game and we may be getting compromises in many of them such as frame rate upscaling and resolution upscaling. So as we get more details about this I'll be sure to let you guys know. Tell me what you guys think of this in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next video.